This backyard's awesome. The view is amazing. Yeah, when we walked through here and we saw this and we're like, yep, this is it. This is the one. Backyards are a pretty big deal in Southern California. We have really great weather and being able to hang out with your family and your friends in your yard, that's kind of the dream. What have you done back here? Well, we bought three trees and we got two of them planted and one of them is... It's sleeping. It's <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> this backyard is a massive space, but years of neglect have left it, I mean, it's unsuitable. Nobody's gonna hang out back there. In fact, it's so big that Ozzy and Lauren, they started to try to work on it a little bit and they quickly realized it was way, way too much for them. How do you like use this space? Because uh, you've got the rocks, you've got this great bit of concrete around the pool, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But then the rocks, I feel like the rocks don't really work with the pool. No, not at all. I'm pretty sure there's rocks in the pool. So you've got this great big palm tree, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. What is this? An electrical outlet? That's an old electrical outlet. Not an what? area we let the girls yeah, play in, that's for sure. Yeah, we don't play here much. No, you're by the pool, you're by the water. Mm -hmm. I don't like this at all. Ozzy and Lauren fell in love with this house because of its backyard, and they thought they could fix it up and make it family friendly themselves. But Ozzy's a firefighter. He's on call around the clock because of the recent wildfires, and they only managed to plant a single tree before they completely gave up. So now we're gonna take care of this giant space for them. So imagine you come out, there's furniture, walk over here, you got your tray of food, you got your barbecue area. I think first and foremost, we should get all of these stones picked up. We can use them somewhere else and that will help make it feel like they have a proper grass yard. We can also add planting beds, which I think will help to define the space and make it feel really intentional. I think we should add a shade structure between the pool and this back wall. And then in this corner, I think we should add a family area. Well, this is nice. Isn't it? Oh, you can see like hiking trails. Like, it's so fun cool. to look at a distance and not actually hike them. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy and Lauren's backyard is huge. And one of their intentions when they bought this house was to have a backyard where the kids could play. I think I can help them accomplish that by creating a space that's dedicated just to the kids without breaking the budget. I want to do a big chalkboard for them on that back wall. So I'm just going to pour the paint onto this piece of plywood, which we've already primed and then roll it out. This is super easy. I mean, literally anybody could do it. This is actually the perfect paint project for me because you don't actually have to be good at painting, which I'm not good at painting. You heard it here first. For this, I mean, literally, you just have to make sure that the surface is covered and you're doing pretty good. Chalkboards are really expensive. And I looked into just buying a chalkboard and I was like, oh, no way. So I was actually able to just buy a can of chalkboard paint for 20 bucks, so between this leftover board, just a piece of plywood that I already had, and the paint, I'm into this for 20 bucks. I just got a call from Dottie, Lauren's mom, and she lives right up the street. She said she has a whole backyard of bricks, and they're mine if I want them. I have all these bricks, as many as you want. We're redoing <laughs> our backyard. That is a lot of bricks. How old are they? How long have they been here? Um, since the 40s, I think, is when this house wow. was built. So That's cool. I'm, they've been here, I'm sure, that long. What I'm thinking of doing with these bricks is maybe doing like a fire pit. Oh, yeah. They'll love it, especially oh. Ozzy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look, it's so green back here. Happy tears. Happy tears. This is incredible. Yeah, this is insane. The swing fire pit, I mean, come on. The girls, I just, they're yeah. gonna love this. We can have the family over and this is a space that we can come and just hang out. Yeah. We There's can walk grass. around in this grass for days, but you've got grass. Oh my gosh, grass. A soccer field of grass. Yeah. <laughs> you ready can... to mow all this? No. This was dirt. Mm -hmm. And then you had all of those stones, remember that went around your pool? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I reused the stones oh, nice. in a couple different places. They make a lot more sense over here, away from the mm -hmm. pool. Absolutely. Um, and they really make a nice texture, I think, for the fire pit area. Yeah. Do you recognize what these are? Are these from my parents' backyard? <laughs> oh, oh my, I didn't even. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I That's thought. That's amazing. Wow. In the corner over here, what? when you handed this house <laughs> over to me, mm -hmm. you had a few trees mm -hmm. that you hadn't quite planted, but I also wanted to rethink this whole corner. I okay. love it. To you have really... a space that we can teach our kids how vegetables grow and yeah. how we can utilize them in cooking in our new kitchen. This is great. So everything has a drip system. All the plants are on irrigation. I could spend all day out here. This is like my happy place. Oh, I know the girls will love it.
So you come out this way, and this is the kid's zone. <gasps> the fire hose. Yeah. That's so fun. This is awesome. I love that. Mm -hmm. So as much as this is like for Ozzy, this is kind of for you, Lauren. Like the vibe is very modern farmhouse. I love this. This will be utilized a ton. They'll be drawing it up, doing their homework. I don't know how to tell you this, but <laughs> homework on a chalkboard that's installed in the backyard doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work. work. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> This is your very own float-in movie theater. Oh my gosh. Wow. We'll have dive-in movies. Dive-in movies? Dive-in movies, the pool. Oh. So, I mean, you literally have a legit movie theater <laughs> out here. <laughs> I took all my dreams for backyard and put them into your backyard. Cause we so where I live, I, you, get like, you get like this much room, so. <laughs> I had been looking for a long time Saw over 200 places and put in over 20 offers. It's been really hard to get one in this market. We found this place and it had actually been sitting a while and it seemed like there was a lot of potential and it just needs a lot of work. The views and location, that just sold it to me. I started the renovation process to make it more modern and bright and light. I took over the jackhammer a little bit. I'm basically the cleaner so that he can make more mess. I wanted to see what's behind the walls and try to expose everything so that I didn't have any surprises. But of course, there's always surprises. Yes, too many surprises. These are roots, Mother, that are going through the floor. Oh my gosh. The hole inside the floor is, is roots. This house has been a lot more work than expected. Soaking pools of water under my floor. Uh, I thought it was gonna be some cosmetic refreshes. It was old, but it really is a gut job making sure that it's safe. There is doubt if this was the right place to buy. We've been at this for nine months, and the house right now, it's uh, pretty much destroyed. They're way behind, and so I understand why they had to call in the pros. I understand why they had to hand this project over. I'm just glad they called me. OK, so over here, what did this fireplace look like before? It was this big chunk of drywall. I wanted to remove the bulk of it so the space feels lighter and airier. Mm -hmm. And I want to just do a flat piece of drywall on the back with a TV so that I don't have this foot and a half of wasted space. What was your plan for putting it back together? I haven't gone there. Yeah. Yeah. My dream for this house is that it is going to be bright and modern. That simplistic Scandinavian design meets, you know, California beach house. I want to do herringbone throughout this whole space. And then the stairs, I don't want to try to match it. I want it to be its own moment. So I'd like them to be stained black. I think it would be really cool. I love that Linda, Miles' mom, is so involved in his renovation as part of his story and that they have such a close relationship. But I want to know a little bit more, so I invited her over to help me a little bit with the project and just to chat. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Wow, the trash pile is gone. The trash pile is gone, yeah. I'm out here uh, planting some plants. You want to help me a little bit? Yeah, sure. I still am blown away by the amount of involvement that you had in this project since day one. Yeah, well, I don't mind it. It's fun to hear his ideas and see it all come together. I'm just a painter, cleaner, just the easy stuff. When I met you, you were still in good spirits, but you were definitely burnt out. Yeah. And this house had given you guys a run for your money. It took a lot longer, a lot more money than you mm -hmm. thought it would. A lot more. You also helped Miles realize his limitations. Yeah. And that the two of you, while you know you make a great team, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't working. And I think that that's also a really important lesson. Yeah. You got to get the professionals in just to do it right one time, be done, and move on. Oh yes, it's beautiful. Scandinavian beachy feel. There's no more holes in the walls. No more holes in the walls. It's amazing. <laughs> it finally feels uh, like a home. This fireplace, it gave you a run for your money. It did. It just needed a little bit of love. Yeah, exactly. I love the vertical tile. It's a little more modern and uh, clean. You also still get that design punch because you do have just a slight variation in the tile. Mm -hmm. And with the, the matte black mantle is so cool. So yeah, it's super cozy. And so to be able to have a fire and sit and enjoy the space is going to be amazing. So, your staircase. Yes, I'm so excited. I like how it contrasts the floors. These are white oak tread, and this is gonna last for a really long time. The black stain, I know that was your vision. It was the right move. 
Walk me through how you use this yard right now. We don't we don't use the yard <laughs> at all. Yeah, we never uh, come out here. I think that this space could be something that we could reclaim as an adult space. We just don't know what to do. We don't know how we can fix it. What's going on with this fence? I hate ivy and I thought, oh my gosh, let's rip this out. And then as soon as we started trying, the fence started falling down. Yeah, I mean, it's literally like... It's leaning. Oh God. Back up, Jasmine. <laughs> Take a step away. Okay, so walking through your guys' house, it feels like the longest to-do list. We call them punch lists Ooh. in construction. All right. So I'm gonna create the ultimate punch list and we're gonna get it done. We're so excited. Now that we got a handle on the issues inside, we gotta shift our focus out here. This fence, check this out, watch. Oh, wow. Right? It's literally held up by the vines. These blocks are the only way that they keep their dogs in. Here's the thing, the property line is six feet that way. So this fence is six feet oh, in. Wow. We can reclaim like a whole side of their property. Since Heather and Kevin want to take down this old rotted fence, they decided they really want to put money into the backyard to make it a safe and amazing additional living space. And the way it is right now, I don't blame them. It's not somewhere that they want to hang out. It's not really functional. They can't entertain their friends and their family. They don't spend any time back here. And they don't feel comfortable letting their dogs and their son like even play in the backyard because the fence was so unsafe. They've set aside $25,000 for me to really blow out the backyard and make it an incredible space. Inside, they're like, look, inside it's all about like the kids and the toys. Yeah. And when we have people over, there's like nowhere for the adults to hang out. Like they need another, like an outdoor living room almost, sure. like an outdoor dining room, like another space. So let's give them all of that. We'll get rid of the vines and this hazardous fence. And once we push the yard out six feet to the property line, we can build a solid wall, which will give them lots of privacy. We can dress it up with landscaping. This area will become an outdoor living space with a pergola a fire pit with outdoor seating over here, and then over in this corner, we can do a game area over the concrete slab. We're gonna make this fun then. Exactly. And this right here, the ivy fence of death, <laughs> has met its match. All right, so on the other side of said fence is the wrecking ball. I just, I don't wanna pull a muscle. Scott, you ready? Yes. Oh, I see your hands, but yeah, no. It was a bit of a failure, not gonna lie. Let's bring in the chainsaws. <laughs> Keep going. You got the whole thing. Ride the wave. All right, there you go. The property line's gonna move way out, which means that this whole side of the house can actually be included within this fence. It opens up a whole new, like, area for them that they never had before. So are you happy with it right there? I, I'm happy with the location, but is it straight? Like... Oh, no, it'll be straight when they're done. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the location's great. We're here first thing in the morning. Hopefully the neighbors aren't too mad at us. I've been building this house for three years and dreaming of this day. I have two giant palm trees that I purchased months ago. I went out to the middle of the desert, picked out these beautiful trees out of a palm forest. It's gonna change the whole front of the house. It, it really is. <laughs> Just another day in the office for me. <laughs> trees are going in. These are huge. What do you wanna look at first? I feel like we gotta <laughs> throw a ball at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard. Oh, nice. You had a piece of concrete. I didn't know what it was for. It's yeah. still there. It just has, it has a new life. <laughs> it's so creative. This is something I can see our family using a lot. This side of the yard has completely transformed. It looks amazing. So your fence, Fence. Yeah, the, the fence. <laughs> the fence. The fence. Used to be right here. It was a vine fence. So we ripped that out, and then we were able to build this new block wall. This is great. So this is all new right here. This is a big game changer for our family. These podocarpus, these are going to grow. So you're going to have a whole wall of green here and a lot of privacy. That oh, means man. a lot. It means a <laughs> lot great. to us.